My name is Kristen. I'm the Family Nurse Practitioner student, and I'll be performing the peripheral vascular examination today. I've noted his vital signs and general periods are within normal limits. Do you, and I've washed my hands, do you have any questions before we get started? No. Okay, so I'm gonna start with inspection. First, I'm gonna inspect from the fingertip from the fingertips up to the shoulders. I'm looking at the nail beds, looking at the color. They appear to be pink. Um, noting that the veins in his hands are prominent um, within normal limits up to the shoulders, um, colors within normal limits, no erythema noted. Um, so then I'm going to move on to the legs. I'm looking at, or I'm sorry, I also forgot to mention with the upper extremities, I'm also noting the size are within normal limits, no edema noted. Um, they are symmetrical on both sides, seem to be uh, symmetrical. And, um, and then we'll move on to the legs, looking at the thighs, calves, and ankles, noting the size is within normal limits, no edema noted. Um, both extremities appear to be symmetrical. I would be able to measure the calves with a tape uh, ruler and noting that it's okay to have a less than three centimeter difference. Um, also noting if I see any erythema again, um, hair appears to be evenly distributed, no patchiness. I do not know any ulcers, um, some scars noted, um, nothing out of the ordinary. However, um, looking at the feet and toes, um, nail beds are pink as well. So now we will move on to palpating. Starting at the upper extremities, we're going to start by palpating um, bilaterally the radial pulses. So I'll see your wrist here. Okay. Radial pulses are symmetric, two plus normal. Then we're going to do the brachial pulses. Keep your elbows bent just like that for me. Are symmetrical two plus. Then I'm going to do a special test if I had any reason to think that there may be some type of infection um, or swelling noted. I would look at the epitrochular nodes um, and this is between the bicep and tricep. Any tenderness at all? No. Okay. Um, they are not palpable. If they were I would note its consistency, how big they were, um, and if the patient had reported any tenderness as well. Um, I'm also with the backs of my fingers going to feel the temperature of the extremities and hands and fingertips. They are warm. Then we will move on to the legs. I'm going to start by palpating the femoral pulse. For this, I'm going to put gloves on. And this will be a deep palpation to feel that femoral pulse in your groin, okay? So go ahead and put your hands to your sides. Perfect. is two plus. And that side is also two plus. Next we'll be moving on to the popliteal pulse. This is behind the knee. I'll have you bend your knee slightly. And this is a deep palpation. Two plus. And same here. Right. And two plus. Then we'll move on to the dorsalis pedius. Two plus symmetrical bilaterally and posterior tibial. Two plus bilaterally. They are symmetrical. So next I'm going to palpate the inguinal nodes. Here I'm looking for any masses, any potential hernias or tenderness. Um, for this, there are horizontal and vertical nodes. Again, you have just have your fingers to the side, your hands to the side, and let me know if you feel any tenderness. No swelling noted. Any tenderness? Okay, all right. So next I'm going to be feeling with the backs of my fingertips, um, the temperature of the lower extremities. They are warm, feet are cool, but I did have a good pulse in both of those feet. I'm also gonna palpate the toes for calf refill. 
and that is within normal limits as well. Okay, and like I said, no ulcers noted. Um, skin is dry and smooth. Pulses are good, color is within normal limits. Um, so next we're gonna move on to a special test. I'm going to um, check for your radial and ulnar perfusion, making sure those are clean. So I'll do on both extremities. So I'll have you make a fist and I'm including both the radial and ulnar arteries. Open your fist and I'll let go of the ulnar artery and the palm picks right back up. Okay, and close again. And open, letting go of the radial artery and that palm pinks right back up again. Okay, and we'll do the same on the other side. So those arteries on the right hand side are Peyton. Go ahead and close your fist. Open. Okay, good. And close your fist. And we'll do the older side, open. And things right back up. Okay, all right. So those arteries are patent. Next, we will move on to uh, assess the circulation of the lower extremities. I'm gonna have you lift your feet for me about 60 degrees. And I'm just helping the patient um, with this until the foot becomes somewhat paler. Usually this can take about a minute. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you dangle your feet and assess how long it takes for them to pick back up again. Okay, so we'll have you dangle your feet. Okay, and color returns within about 10 seconds, which is within normal limits. Okay, and that concludes our peripheral vascular assessment.